Hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today we're going to be looking at some outside decorations slash gardens uh, because I got a comment saying that they wanted to see some different garden designs in this game and I figured that I might as well group gardens and just the outside world uh, all into one. So with that let's hop right in. Okay, first we have this very basic little garden design in the terms of plants in a garden. You kind of just scatter the plants around. You have a little walkway. Uh, this is just a very thrown together shed. Uh, very simple to make. Just kind of place down wood uh, and then place some stairs all around on the top just to make it look kind of worn down and rustic. It's incredibly small, uh, enough to fit, you know, your hoe and your uh, rake in in order to tend your garden. But you also have a very basic scarecrow design. Looks a little tacky in this situation, I can't deny that, uh, but I wanted to include it just to show off a design. And then finally, this is what I like over here. Uh, these are some designs for tomatoes uh, that you can use rose bushes and armor stands to look like you're fencing up tomato bushes uh, and you know you can pluck them off as one more crop in this game. So this is just a very basic, uh, farmy garden design. This next one is more of a modern, more fancy garden design, uh, in which you just have, like, some hedges, uh, and using the hedges in, like, a, uh, pattern like I have it right now makes it where they stand out a little bit more as seeming larger than they actually are. But putting in just a very simple fountain, uh, very thrown together, there's nothing too too special about this, there's tons of other great fountains you can make, but for the space that I chose to do this in, uh, this is fine. Uh, but then the real kicker on this one is utilizing lime clay and uh, the dark green clay in order to create what looks like a mowed lawn. And this could be really good in any houses that you make if you want to utilize the mowed lawn look using clay. Uh, but it just makes a interesting little outside peaceful garden area. Next we have a outdoorsy patio type setup with a couple of interesting things here. So first we have this grill design uh, which can be made with some iron and some quartz with some rails, some trap doors, and then utilizing the cupboard design or cabinet, the drawers, however you want to say it, just by taking a uh, piece of snow or uh, window pane or something and putting it upright so it looks like a handle but very basic grill design then you also have this little uh, patio table not the greatest design but utilizing the bed on a umbrella type setup uh, it looks pretty okay here you can use the piston chairs as chairs or you can do like little bar stools uh, You'll see them later as well, but I'll make them here real quick for you. You can do something very simple like a uh, fence and a pressure plate, very simply like that. And those will also look pretty good in this setup. You could put carpets on the table, uh, maybe like a like you're actually having a picnic, uh, and you do the very classic picnic table setup. I'm using barriers uh, as our uh, blocks that you place the beds on, but I understand that you can now just get rid of those. Uh, I had that mentioned to me in another video uh, that you can then get rid of those and it stays. We also have the little pond here in which you can put uh, you know, a lily pad on to make it stand out. And then here we have a little lawn chair. You can do a court stair and then some snow to make a kind of more loungy lounge chair. Usually people just do like uh, a court stair and then they grab quartz slabs, and there you go, there's your lawn chair. This just gives it a little extra design by having the little lip in there. And then here's just another umbrella uh, utilizing carpets with the barriers, and then a tiny little side table. So this is a cute little patio that you can make. This is one of my favorites. This is a campground, and you have your little uh, pot boiling over here. You have your campfire, and I do know that there is another campfire design that you can do that actually looks a lot nicer that utilizes uh, armor stands and lighting them on fire, but in a way that they can't like burn because there's water nearby. But for some reason, I couldn't get it to work in this world. I think it's the version of the game that I'm running on. There's been talks that it doesn't work on various uh, versions of the game. But then the obvious standpoint here is our tent. And utilizing the green banners make it where it's kind of a tent cover 
uh, that will not, if you're actually planning on using this as a home, will not keep out enemies, but it still looks pretty cool. You got a bed in here, uh, you got some posts keeping the fence up, some green carpets just to show uh, the inside of it a little bit better. You could also put green wool on the bottom here to make it look like a uh, inside of the tent has like a base to it, and then you just have a chest and a crafting table. But this is just a really cool, nice looking campground here. I just want to real quick show you a little tip to make more dense trees. Uh, when you make these trees, I just used normal saplings and placed them down, but then I went in with leaves and just filled in the gaps uh, in different areas, and even this right here looks a little unnatural, so you could add in just a little bit more leaves around here, just to make those gaps uh, that you usually have look like they're filled in and dense with leaves, and it makes a place like a campground a lot better, or if you're making a dense forest a lot better as well. You can do the same thing up here, you know, place some leaves in here in some areas that uh, would normally be exposed to the sky. So there you go, just a little tip. This is a cool one. Here is a outdoor pool. We have our little pool here with some quartz along the bottom, just as a bottom block, and then stone slabs around the outside, a little step to go down into it. And then these iron bars work as kind of the rails that you can use to get up out of the pool. Here's a little, like I said, it doesn't look as good, but you can't use the snow here uh, because it will not work unless you have World Edit installed, and I didn't want to include that uh, when you likely don't have World Edit installed in your world here. But it's a very basic, just like lounge in a pool design. You could also do stone brick for a different color. You have this little palm tree that I've created just using some fences uh, and some jungle leaves. And then we have the tiki bar, and I love this a lot, just utilizing leaves as the roof of it. It's not something that people normally do in a build, using leaves as a roof, uh, but in this case it works really well. And then here is a player head, and let's actually get the name of that head for you. Uh, never mind, you can't. Uh, but you can find this online if you just search beer head uh, Minecraft. You can spawn this head in with a command block and it looks like a beer bottle. Same with this little beach ball right here that looks really cool. Uh, I believe you can also place this above the water if you so desire, and that would also look pretty cool. But I think it was just awesome to uh, include it in. Utilize heads, because they're becoming a really cool building tool in this game, uh, and I love them a lot. Before we move on to just some very basic small decoration design tips, this is our last major one. This is a playground, and let's be honest, we've all tried to make a playground before uh, in Minecraft in our lives. So this is just a very basic design you can do. It's not the greatest, I recognize that, but it is something. So just a little outside of it, you have your wood kind of lining it, and then the buttons just help to add a little bit of extra depth to it uh, and make it look like little knobs on the wood. Then you have a very basic swing set. Uh, you could make this a lot larger, I just didn't have enough space. Uh, the new iron bars that just go straight down and don't connect to anything or don't look uh, like horizontally flat in their ways make this a lot easier to make this because usually you'd have to go with fences uh, and those just look a little bit off. So that's a very basic swing design. The uh, ladders coming down you can do with barrier blocks right here, which make it where the ladder just hangs down and you can still go up it. And then this is just a very basic slide design. It's tough to make a slide when there are no slanted blocks in the game, so your best bet is to utilize rails uh, and then just place some colored clay next to it so it looks like a slide going down. You could also maybe uh, fill it in on the other side as well, just to kind of uh, make it look like a complete slide, but it almost looks better if you just go only on one side of it. I kind of like that more. And then these are just some like stepping stools or something that somebody can jump on. I don't know, it works. So that is a playground. Now for just some basic outdoor designs. Here's a trampoline, uh, which is now, you know, fully functional with the slime blocks, which is kind of cool. Uh, it makes it look a little bit more realistic to jump on. And it's just a very basic, place down some clay, place down some cobblestone walls, and then your slime blocks, uh, and it looks pretty cool. You could also add up some uh, bars on the side of it, like, let me grab some iron bars here, where you at, there you are. Uh, you could place iron bars along the side of it like this, 
to make it look enclosed like some trampolines are, uh, but I went with the more open look like an old-fashioned trampoline instead, and it still looks pretty okay. We also have this little table right here that you can make with some upside down stairs. A lot of people tend to do tables, uh, you know, grabbing a fence uh, and going boom, or my, my bad, boom, 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 and then placing carpets on them. But this is just showing how you can use stairs to make a very easy and basic table design without a whole hell of a lot of work uh, that looks really nice. And then just topping it off with a flower pot, and you guys know how to make these chairs. Uh, it's a very basic design. And then here we just have a, another umbrella table design in which you can utilize slabs uh, with some slabs on top just to create another basic design that we didn't have in the other one that we used. And this also works because we have more space here, but I just wanted to showcase that there are other designs you can do with that. So if you guys enjoyed, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, let me know what you want to see down below. I love making these and I would love to make more in the near future. But I need a little bit of help because I my mind can't think up stuff fast enough and you people out there have creative minds that just think up stuff on the fly. So please let me know down below. If you enjoyed, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.